Hey guys, today we're going to discuss where do you buy the best hosting online. My name is Adrian Perot, and today I'm going to go over some do's and don'ts of buying hosting from my own experiences um, building websites, which uh, actually will save you a ton of money and mistakes. So let's go over, first I'm going to go over what you need and what you don't need. Okay, so let's get into it right now. So number one, must-haves. Your web hosting must be cheap. <laughs> There's no reason to spend a lot of money on hosting. There's so many companies out there and they're all competing. You can keep it cheap, but you can keep it fast if you go with the right people. Okay, so number two, must be blazing fast. <laughs> Now what I'm gonna tell you is this. If you're gonna build a website or you've already got websites or you're switching to another host, if your website doesn't load fast, Google isn't gonna rank you. Because the problem is if it takes seven seconds just to see a website or get it to load, first off, people's attention span is slow. So if, isn't, if, it, if it isn't loading fast right now, they don't want it. You know what I mean? They're, they're just gonna click on your site it's taking its time, taking its time. They're going to leave. Google's going to penalize you and then you're going to drop out of the rankings. Okay, so number one, fast. You need fast. Okay, now we're going to go to number three. Yes, you will need customer service. Trust me on this. <laughs> I don't care who you deal with. When you pick up the phone, first off, you pick up the phone, you call in and you're number 50 in line and it says, oh, you gotta wait uh, 35 minutes before we can take your call. Well, by then I've gotta go do something else. <laughs> like, uh, and by, by the time I get back, I can't remember what I was working on. I gotta relearn everything I was doing and make the phone call again. So yes, customer service, you need good customer service. And I'm gonna tell you where you can get it, okay? Now, number four, must have SSL certificate. Look, have you ever been on your computer and you click to go to a website and all of a sudden your, uh, your, your software or, or Windows Defender tells you, oh, don't go there, it's not a trusted site. But you know it's trusted, but it won't even let you go. You gotta click and tell it, no, no, I trust the site, let's go. Well, the thing is, you're gonna rank better with your website if you have an SSL certificate on the website. And then you won't run into those issues, people trying to get to your site and they're, uh, they're um, Anyway, <laughs> their, their software is, is trying to block you from going. You don't want that happening. So what I'm saying is, yes, any site you build, make sure it's HTTPS, okay? Now we're gonna move on to number five. Must host multiple sites. Look, most uh, web uh, uh, hosting will allow you to host multiple sites. Like I have an account with 10 websites and I got another with six. You don't need hosting for every website. Not just that, a lot of these websites I, I, I have, they only, they only um, how do I say it? Some only get 1,000, 2,000 um, views a month. Well, the thing is, is these hosting plans cover that. You're, you're not moving a lot of traffic to it, so who cares? Get hosting that can have multiple accounts, okay? Now, number six, must be approved by WordPress. <laughs> so this is the deal that people don't know. There's thousands of hosting companies out there, thousands, man. And the thing is, is if you're gonna be building a website and you're using WordPress, which more likely you will be, and if you're not building it and someone else is building it for you, they will be using WordPress. The thing you gotta remember is this, WordPress has an approved uh, uh, hosting um, list, and I'm gonna share it with you today, and you won't believe it actually has a list. And there's not a lot of people on it, so we'll get to that later. Now, just so you know, this video is for small business, nonprofit, someone who's starting affiliate marketing, uh, you know, Amazon affiliates, or they're just an online business. You're a plumber, or or you're a lawyer that needs a website, or anybody. If you're a big corporation, this isn't for you. This isn't what I'm about. But if you're any of the other people looking for hosting, or you wanna move your hosting from another company, just keep watching the video. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you a few things and uh, online here, and then uh, move on from there. So, what I did is I went to Google. 
I typed in web hosting. So we go down here and it says 15 best web hosting 2017. Look at this. Editors review dot <laughs> org. Oh, wait, it's an ad. <laughs> so it's a review, but it's an ad. But let's go check it out. All right. So you see this. Here's a list of all these trusted. Man, these are just, they must be the best. They're on a list. Well, let's look at them. Bluehost, I've had them slow. Slow as mud. iPage, <laughs> I had that account for like a year. I just put one website on it. It loaded slow and their builder was terrible. Terrible back office, man. Hostgator. Hostgator's good. Hostgator's where I learned to actually start uh, building sites and I actually learned how to create the site, put WordPress. But the problem was, is I was doing shared hosting on it and it was slow for the money. So yeah, my Hostgator account's gone. I no longer use it. Then you got Clearhost, never used them. Um, Ideal Host, you know, whatever. There's all these names. Just Host I used, that was slow as mud too. This is irrelevant. All I'm showing you is it, look, just just one review page and there's all these companies and you're like, well, who do I deal with? Well, I'm going to show you who you deal with. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back here and I'm going to make a little point that I missed with you guys. And the point is blazing fast. So look at it this way. You want the fast hosting that the big companies are using where the page loads in a second and a half. But when you first start building websites, you're not getting a lot of traffic. So the thing is, is you don't care about big bandwidth. Like you don't care if you're getting 100,000 people to your site. What you care about is that the page loads fast. And it also comes with a, a, an SSL certificate. So that being said, I'm going to show you online who WordPress actually approves. And there's only four. You won't believe it. It's actually the list is online. So here we go. I'm going to take you to that website. So if you go on and you type in right here, look. Oh, sorry, guys. My, my, my hands are a little glitchy here. I apologize. If you click on WordPress approved hosting and you go right here under all the ads and click on it. There it is. You see that? That's WordPress hosting, that's WordPress.org, and guess what? Check this out. Here is a list of their approved hosting companies. One, two, three, four. I wonder why they're on the list. Maybe it's because they're good? So let's go up here and read what WordPress has to say. So WordPress says, there are hundreds of thousands of web hosts out there, the vast majority of which meet WordPress minimum requirements. And choosing one from a crowd can be a chore. Just like flowers need the right environment to grow, WordPress works best when it's in a rich hosting environment. We've dealt with more hosts than you can imagine. In our opinion, the hosts below represent some of the best and brightest of the hosting world. Okay. So WordPress is telling you, look, you don't want to get screwed? You want something good? Then you need to buy hosting from these companies because they run their updates. They're probably better priced and they probably have good customer service. Like, I'm not saying it. WordPress is telling you this. So today, what we're going to do... I'm going to show you who the best is right here, SiteGround. Click on it. I'll tell you what, I, I was skeptical at first, but I went in, I bought hosting from them. I couldn't believe how good it is. Like my pages load super fast. Now, I, I guess what I'm getting at is they, they load fast, but it also came with an SSL certificate. Now I'm going to tell you why, uh, um, uh, SiteGround is so good. So right here, I know I'm using my phone, guys. Be patient. It's a little jittery because I'm not that good. But right here, look, $5.95 a month. Like, how can you go wrong? Suitable for 25,000 visitors. Mul multiple websites, 20 gigs of web space. You'll never use that. Okay? And then here's all the 
the the essential features of what's of what they offer. Now, this is what I really want to show you right here. Premium WordPress features. Now get this. WordPress Super Cacher. That Super Cacher, I had websites loading in under three quarters of a second. It's unbelievable. Like they load instantly. And then you'll follow, you watch. People don't leave your site so quick. They'll stay. And then the second thing I wanted to show you that is really, really awesome. One year free wildcard SSL. So this is the thing. If you're building multiple sites, like you're going to say, okay, I'm going to build one, but I, I really want to put up 10 or five or six. That wildcard SSL gets attached to all of them. And the funny thing about this company is I called in to use customer service once. They took my call right away and they helped me. Once I had the site up, I said, hey, I need to put the SSL certificate into, into my website. It's built. The woman said, no problem. She says, we'll have it done in 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, it was done. I, like, I was like, I got customer service. I didn't have to sit there for three hours trying to figure out what I'm doing wrong. She did it. So the thing I'm going to say is, I'd say out of all the hosting uh, that's offered right now, you can't go wrong. You can't. Like for, and not just that, I bought, what did I buy? I paid, uh, like I bought a whole year and I, I bought a domain and then I transferred some domains. Like I, not transferred, but I, I ran them from GoDaddy over and I put some other websites. But anyway, that's what I want to share with you guys. So before you go and buy today from anybody else or do anything you're going to do, you owe it to yourself. Just click the link in the description, subscribe to this channel and go check it out. You can't lose. And then the other thing I was going to tell you was this. Look, my other web host, they were charging me. What were they charging me? It was 99 Yeah, it's 99 or or $100 US. Okay, that's $1,200. Some of my sites were still taking six, seven, eight seconds. Now, I know some of them had videos. Don't get me wrong. But the videos were not coming from my website server. They were coming from YouTube. And it wasn't the videos I was waiting on. Anyway, that's my review. And before you buy web hosting today, go check the link. I'll leave the link to, uh, to uh, WordPress. You can see who their approved uh, hosters are. And um, yeah, that's it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll try to send you more information on other things going on. Okay, take care guys. Bye.